All right, today's video is talking about the difference between passing by reference and passing by value. So if you've been programming for any amount of time, you've probably heard these terms. Some programming languages have a way that you can actually choose between the two if you want to pass something by reference and pass something by value. In JavaScript, doing these two things all depends on the kind of variable that you're dealing with. So am I dealing with a primitive value or am I dealing with some kind of object? And that's what makes the determination. So just a, a few things, a few terms to get in your head as we start here. If you are talking about passing, we're generally referring to either assigning a value to a variable or you're taking some value and you're passing it to a function. So two things, either putting something into a variable or giving it over to a function. Those are the two things that we're referring to when we say passing. So by reference and by value, the difference between the two of those, the value, we're just talking about a value. So when you hear value, you can think primitives. And in JavaScript, we have this limited number of things that can be a primitive, including strings, numbers, booleans. Those are things that are just that. They're just a value. Null, undefined are also primitives. They are just a value. There's no functions or methods. You can't say null dot and then some method name. It's just null. And then everything else that's not a primitive in JavaScript is an object some kind of object. Um, I've got in my code here a bunch of variables to start with. I've got a string and a number. Those are both primitives. And then I've got an array literal and an object literal. They are both objects. So there's things about them. They don't just hold one value. They hold potentially a bunch of values, but I can call methods. There's methods that belong to the array object. There's methods that belong to the object object. Now, there are string objects and number objects, but I don't want to confuse this for now. So we're just going to say we've got these primitives and we've got objects. And that's what's going to make the determination between the two different things, reference and value. OK, so let's start with here. Uh, I'm going to do some assignment just to show how that works. If I create a brand new variable, let's call it string two, and I assign string to it. When I make a change to string two, so I say string two is going to be equal to string two plus the word there. If I log that out, so I save that and I run this code now. Here we go. String two is hello there. And if I run the original one, so if I do string and string two, I write those out. You can see they are different values because they are two separate variables, which may be what you would have expected. So I have this one variable here. And then when I did this assignment, I'm taking a copy of this value and I'm putting it in here. So I'm passing by value. I'm giving the value of this variable over to this brand new variable. And then the new variable is the one that I'm altering. I'm updating the value to say, take what was already in there and add this piece of string. So we have the two different variables and they have two separate values. Simple enough. All right. So I'm just going to comment that out so we don't see it again. Now, if I do the same thing with an object, let's take this array as an example. So let array two equal array. So I'm doing the exact same thing that I did here on line 21. I'm assigning one variable to another. So after this, you would think, okay, well, I'm making a copy of that thing. I'm giving the value over to here. But that's not the case. Because an array is an object, I'm actually passing a reference. This is passing a reference to this thing. So we have something called R. And this R is somewhere in memory. When I do this assignment, JavaScript doesn't say I need to copy everything from wherever this was in memory to the new place in memory for this variable. It just says, okay, wherever you were pointing to in memory, 
I'll point to the same place. So if we do this and we add a new name, so we'll add Mallory in there as a brand new name. Now, if I write out array and array two, when I run this, so we'll clear that out to run this again, you can see array and array two, they're the same thing. They have the same values. It's not that I took a copy of it and then I added something only to array two. I've modified both because these aren't two separate things in memory. They're not two separate memory addresses. They are pointing to the same thing in memory. So we have two things that reference wherever this was in memory. So this is stored in memory somewhere, and this is a reference to it. So primitives pass by value, objects pass by reference. That's what we mean. Passing by reference in JavaScript means I'm dealing with an object. Passing by value, I'm dealing with a primitive. It's just the value. So we did some passing here with the equal sign with assignment. We can do the exact same thing with a function. So I have a function here. I've got a parameter. So the name of my variable is param. And when I call my function f1, if I pass in the number and we run this, there we go. The type of param, it is a number. So type of param. So the thing that I passed in here, it's a number. It's not an object. If I call this again and I pass in my object, num was a number obj was an object. This is the type of thing that it is. And I don't mean capital O object. It's an array is also an object. So it's lowercase here, obj. If I run this again, there we go. You can see the last two, object, object. Oh, sorry, do that again. Let's clear and run this again. There we go. Object, object, both object and array. They are both type object because they're not primitives. The primitives all have their own names. Number, string, boolean, undefined, null. They all have their own label for the type of information that they are. Everything else that's not a primitive is type object. So here we are. These are both objects. All right. Now, the second thing I'm writing out what the value is. Okay. Param one, two, three. Param is this object. So parameter, this is the variable that's declared inside the function. I'm passing these things in. So it looks like I'm taking a copy of whatever this is and I'm sending it into param. The same thing is going to happen as happened up here. If num is a primitive, a value, a copy of the value would be passed in here to param. With obj, because it is an object, it's a reference to the original obj from up here. So let's temporarily comment out this one. I will do it with the number. If I then take param and I say param is going to be equal to param plus four. I know it's a number, so I can do this. I'm going to take the one, two, three, and I'm going to add four. And now if I were to log out both param and num, remember num is the original up here this one, two, three. It's the thing that's being passed in. Param and num. One twenty-seven is param, but num is still one twenty-three, and that is because it was a primitive. So we passed it by value. We got a copy of the value got sent to this variable. So it is, in essence, a brand new variable that has that value stored in it, and it can do whatever it wants with that value. We're, we've lost our connection to the original variable here. So that's gone. So I'll comment that one out, and I'll comment this one out. This one means that param became 127, and this 
told us 127 and 123 for the num. If I do the same thing with the object, so we'll comment out that one, we'll call object again. Now that we're dealing with an object, it is by reference, the same as the assignment. So if I've got a reference, when I change it, I'm not changing the variable obj. I'm not changing the variable param. What I'm changing is wherever this is stored in memory, that's the thing that I'm changing. So param and obj are both references to wherever that object literal was stored in memory. So we can say right here, param, which is the same thing as saying obj. They're both just pointing to the same thing in memory. Param.id is going to be equal to 321 instead of 1. And we can say param.char is equal to um, Bob and param.show, brand new property. Then I will again log out param. So we'll see what we get. And I will log out obj to see what we get. So I'm going to log out both param, which is the one that I'm dealing with here, and the original one that was defined up here. And we will see that they are the same thing because neither one of them are separate from the other. They are both just references to something in memory. So type of param, it is an object. Write out what param is. We can see param is the exact same thing as obj. It's whatever was stored there originally. And then I change the ID, I change the character, I cha and I add a new property called show. And then I write out param. Param is now this. There's the new ID, there's the new character, and this new property show. But when I write out obj, I don't have that original thing here anymore because this variable isn't pointing to this object literal. It's pointing to the place in memory where that object literal was stored. And we changed it here. When we said to param, hey, go change whatever you're pointing to, it did, which means obj is pointing to the thing that has changed as well. All right, so I hope that helps you out. I hope that helps you understand the difference between passing by reference, passing by value, primitives versus objects, and how they're dealt with differently when they're being assigned and when they're being passed to functions. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I answer as many as I have time for. If you're looking for a copy of this code, you'll find the link to the code just down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.